Hi friends, uh, here uh, we are going to discuss about life. So many efforts and so many books written on this. And in 2018, another book came by Jordan P. Peterson. Uh, he has written this book uh, with the name 12 Rules for Life. Let's go through the subject each and everything. So there are 12 rules. So we will go through these 12 rules in very brief manner. What do you say? Now the tenth rule: use the precise language. When I'm you, I'm trying to uh, communicate with you, I should be using the precise language. Just imagine a situation: you are taking your car or your bike on a certain weekend to a certain uh, certain land, which is very far, and you are not able to reach to destination. Before that, your car, your vehicle is not giving the proper response or the support is broken down, right? In between the road, and what you are going to do for that? You are going to uh, take the particular car on the side of the road and you are going to go for people if you know yourself you may repair if you don't know how to repair it you will go for the people who can repair it right so when you are going to certain level you cannot carry the car with you right so you are going to uh, have a certain uh, distance travel by walking or so and you may be, you, ha you may be have to uh, communicate with the mechanic or some people who know how to repair it so at that point of time it's very important right you will understand what is the importance of understanding how to communicate precisely right because only if you are able to communicate precisely the other person will take the necessary tools which is uh, which is going to be helpful for repairing it right if you are not able to understand anything you don't know anything of a car other than whatever is visible from outside then it's going to be a disaster you are not able to communicate properly you are going to a doctor you don't know how to you don't want to explain or express in a precise language you are using all the zagons and all, all the egoistic discussion you are going to have with your doctor is never going to help you you are taking a class you are a teacher your professor your manager the precise language is very important you should do a proper communication so using the precise language so tenth rule goes use precise language okay my handwriting is very very bad because i use all these connected letters so don't count the letters there anyway now the 11th rule don't bother young people with board skating that's what written in the book but for you i will try to rephrase the word see all human beings or any animal you take lion you know lion what is known for right it gives a big roar right a monkey you know monkey is very uh, very uh, what you call a uh, known for its mischiefs and men are obvi obviously they are known for their arrogance their what you call their pride right all this kind of thing so try, these are the nature built on it so if you take carbon dioxide we all know carbon dioxide is for what oxygen is for what nitrogen is for what all are having their own basic nature so you cannot judge or you cannot uh, tell oxygen to behave like carbon dioxide just like if you are a man see certain uh, ego certain uh, what you call uh, pride certain confidence will come with it if it's a woman she will be having her own qualities very good qualities so never try to judge and compel certain qualities on them and try to understand try to take them as the, themselves that will help you a lot and 12th and the last rule of your life try understand learn the art of enjoying your life from small joy we all are not like a big what you call narendra modi or donald j trump or whatever we cannot have that that even though for these people also when they had their life which was not that in big frame small life they always had a life right so they should also learn how to enjoy their small life and small small enjoyment I mean, it, it should not be like i if i only if i get my imac or iphone or my ipad or my new car new bike i will be happy or enjoy or joy i will be joyful of that i should always learn how to be 
enjoying my small small moments if i am able to get office on time i should be happy i should be enjoying i should be joyful if i am able to get my home early if i am able to get my wife with me if i am able to get my kids with me uh, on weekend if i am going somewhere on park maybe uh, i am able to meet my cousin brothers all these are small occasions but gives a big joy always allow yourself to celebrate the small moments right so what is going to be our 12th 12th rule that is what that is enjoy small moments or success also celebrate small moments small small moments because all the small small events are going to make the big events that's going to define your life so dear friends let's conclude today's discussion we had this book 12 rules written by bp tersen uh, mainly uh, the topic the first rule the end book is uh, divided into 12 different parts because 12 rules obviously are the uh, are the main topic of this book the first was even if you are not a winner try to be a winner in pretension meaning try to pretend because always this winner will be having so many positive qualities that will attract more success and winning second is take care of yourself never forget to take care of yourself third is surround with friendly people always have people who encourage you and fourth point is stop comparing yourself with other because you you are always if you have your own quality the other person is having their own quality so you cannot compare apple with grapes right like my manager said last time Uh, so fifth good parenting there are third three sub rules which we discussed in detail six take responsibility of yourself by yourself don't blame your uh, company or tv channel or sisters or family everyone okay try to take responsibility of what have happened to you by yourself seventh is resist temptation okay go for uh, objective which is meaningful and it may take some time let let's have some patience tolerance level because it will give a big result eighth tell and tolerate truth always avoid the lies wherever whenever possible ninth rule golden rule is learn to listen always even if you, when, whenever you are in a conversation with your friend or any be maybe ask any be maybe a person who are going to stab you in the next moment try to listen to him try to understand what the other person is telling maybe you can avoid the situation maybe you can learn a lot from it then 10th point use precise language always try to communicate properly it's not like the fluency of the language you are going to learn you are going to have your own body language also you are going to reflect whatever you are going to say so try to use the pre- uh, precise language that will help you a lot in situations 11th is never compel people against their nature try to take oxygen as oxygen carbon dioxide as carbon dioxide man as man woman as woman and rabbit as rabbit right because that will help you a lot 12 point and the last point is enjoy enjoy your small small moments because that's going to give a big uh, big success maybe in the future so always you will be in that particular situation to take your mind to that level otherwise always you will be complaining and you will not you may not be reaching to that level because always comparing and your health will be deteriorating and you will be failing and you will be like will be on the ground and you will never uh, live to see the big success right so always uh, try to help your health right through a proper brain condition uh, so enjoy the small small moments so that's it thank you for watching take care